Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on here because time's of the essence, but uh, common activities, these are all things you can choose from, less common but doable even online, field trips and events, service learning, um, the education course that I was showing actually has a service learning component where students are actually given an option to go and actually do service in their, um, in their community uh, and have it relate to um, basically to what, well, it, it, in some cases it's somewhat loosely related, but gives them an opportunity to be able to go out and, and uh, give service in their community. It's kind of a neat exercise. Um, student developed instruction quizzes. Down here I, at the bottom, I put think mastery, think failure. <laughs> Um, you know, maybe it goes without saying, but one of the things that I've, when I've spoken to teachers sometimes who have come in and said to me, uh, you know, Neil, I, I don't get it. Students are getting to the final paper. I, I, how can I get them to read the syllabus better? How can I get them to read the in assignment instructions better? They're turning in papers that just don't even come close to meeting what I'm looking for, and they're failing the class because they're failing these papers. Or they're, I'm giving them these projects and they're just not getting it. What's going on? And really what it comes down to sometimes is, well, are you giving them, them opportunities to fail before it's final, before it's, you know, the big um, critical moment? Um, really, learning in a lot of ways is a, an iterative, recursive process. And uh, oftentimes I think we do our students a disservice if we don't give them opportunities early on um, to, to um, practice and to get it wrong. It's kind of like uh, the other day when I took the, my uh, Boy Scouts uh, that I work with to, we went to the ice skating rink and uh, we were learning how to ice skate. There were kids who were hanging on the wall at the start and falling down and things and then we, uh, by the end they were getting out in the middle and you know, they were doing little spins and things like that. and. Uh, because they had that opportunity to to start small and 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 uh, master it and have opportunities to to sort of um, you know just get a feel for for trying trial and error and, and things. Okay, so a good example. I like to I want to focus as much as possible here on examples. Um, here we have a uh, this is a, a nutrition course, and this particular course has. Um, set up opportunities. Uh, they have kind of these final exams, and they set up opportunities um, before the exam to be able to have students go in and take quizzes. And, and they have unlimited attempts at these quizzes. So they've, they've actually put some time and effort into trying to uh, see whether um, no pressure quizzes make a difference, an opportunity for students to be able to uh, basically choose their own destiny, take a quiz as many times as they want until they get the grade that they're happy with. Uh, and they've actually done some studying to see um, how this actually affects student performance. Uh, the kind of the fascinating thing about this that um, I saw yesterday when I was asking if they had some numbers. Well, for one, uh, students really liked that. Uh, they listed for both their the RCDE here represents their online course, the on camp. OC represents on campus. They really liked, this was one of their, they considered um, these, these quizzes to be uh, the number one most effective, most helpful thing for them in this course. Um, and uh, really, uh, in general, seemed to perform, uh, those students who took advantage of being able to go in and, and retake these quizzes actually, you know, performed better. Um, on their final exams, which makes sense because they're exposed to the questions more. It's kind of like, you know, if you take the, if you're going to take the GRE or the, or the, or the LSAT or whatever, if you do practice quizzes more often, you'll do better. Same idea here. What was interesting is that the results of this um, course showed that students with about three attempts performed the best. When they performed, when they took it four or more times, there's actually a reduction in the score on the final assessment. I don't know what to make of that. I honestly think that kind of brings up an interesting question, but it seems like three times was the charm. So uh, mastery is an interesting concept to, to explore.